الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله project and gonna go hopefully run this thing soon and see what it'll actually do. Do you have a college degree? Yeah. I didn't know that. Business management. All right. What do you do for work now? Uh, work on off-road trucks. All right, tell me again the story behind the last time you wore this helmet. Uh, last time I wore this helmet, I got hit by a car and almost died.
All right, so today I'm with Roy, and right now what is going on is my Ranger is finally getting a new transmission after it blew out uh, a few months ago and was improperly installed initially. You know, a total clusterfuck, right? I mean, there's there's uh, there's there's a lot of little things you got to do correct. Well, it's like anything else, you know. You got to do. There's a lot of little things that aren't. It's nothing major, but you just you got to do these little things correctly. So yeah, this is one of the first ones. Um, putting in a transmission, the correct procedure to install the torque converter. So the operation of the automatic transmission that most of the trucks run, engine obviously spins. It spins the uh, torque converter. What you're doing is you're pumping hydraulic fluid through the transmission. So in order to do that, there's a, there's a front pump inside the transmission. The torque converter has to be correctly splined in and installed to the front pump. Otherwise, if you, if, you try to, if you try to install the transmission incorrectly with the torque converter not lined up, what happens, BP? Uh, you happens? crack the whole front pump and that transmission is now useless. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. Okay. So. Yeah, we learned the hard way. So or I learned the hard way. Roy didn't do anything. Okay, so this is not this is not BP's transmission. So BP has what's called an A4LD in his Ranger. Um, that's just like a stock standard Ford Ranger transmission. This is a transmission a transmission out of one of the trophy trucks. Uh, this is a Turbo 400, but the concept is the same. This part here, this is the torque converter, right? You see these two keyways, right? Those key into the front pump. There's also splines inside that drive the stator and all the internal components in this torque converter. So basically what happens is this is connected to the flex plate of your engine. This spins, pumps fluid in there, truck goes. Obviously it's more complicated than that, but that's a you know simplified version just to, uh, for, the, for this nice video here. So anyways, what we need to do is we need to make sure this set of splines, this set of splines, and these two keyways are correctly aligned in the torque converter and the transmission. So whenever you install a torque converter, first step is you carefully line this up here. Okay. And you'll see, okay, see like it's, it's kind of in place, but as we spin this thing around, sometimes you just gotta go it around. Oh. Feel, see, okay. Did you hear that little clunk? Okay, you can feel it. Like you can feel when it goes in. It'll you'll, like you'll feel the one set of splines line up, and you'll feel a second clunk when the second set of splines lines up. Some transmissions are different because they'll be slightly different as far as the spline configuration, etc. Um, but most of the time, you engage it. That should engage that first big set of splines in the converter. The second set, the second click should engage that, and then that last click is just kind of the, the whole thing going into place. Usually, what you can see is that this converter will be set back in the bell housing somewhat. Um, this one's set up for a half-inch mid plate, so it's got these spacers that kind of stick out. But if this had no spacers on it, you could see that this converter is, you know, I mean, it's in like it's it's in past the surface of this bell housing, probably a good inch or so, you know. So, what you don't want to do, which uh, it seems like it would be convenient, but uh, no names or anything, but uh, someone tried to bolt the torque converter to the flex plate and then line the transmission up and everything on that. The problem is. There is no feasible way. There is absolutely no way. There's, there's no, I don't know, there's no sorcery or magician's ways that'll help you on that one. Um, you'll never get it lined up. And then when you tighten everything down, you will absolutely guaranteed break the front pump inside the transmission and it'll be useless. Uh, that's step one is installing this torque converter into the transmission. Another important step on this is actually adding some fluid in the torque converter before installing it so that it's not just, you know, run and dry. Because um, on a brand new converter, like you definitely want to make sure there's fluid in there to, you know, pump everything through and just get everything going. We're actually, uh, we're actually installing a nice, large transmission cooler. So that'll increase the fluid volume for the system. We got BP's transmission all set up and it's in the truck already. And we should be bolting this thing up soon. I'm a lost and we were
just too far gone So take a breath And brace yourself Tell me I'm a lost soul Tell me I have one foot in the grave Somehow this was uh, this was BP's old gas cap. I appreciate I appreciate the um, the resourcefulness. So this is like the adapter ring that goes around your steering wheel, and the the horn is supposed to go in here, and that's what was in here for a gas cap. A horn button's not really a great gas cap though. So uh, we've got we've got a better solution. Huh? Hold in one spot. Get closer. You're way too far away. Look how far you're sticking out. That didn't turn out well. No, it did not. As soon as I let go, BP, look at you were doing so good up until you know, you, just, you gotta keep you just you gotta move slow. You have to move way slower than you think you'd you'd have to move. Yeah. Okay, see how it's all melting right now? Yep. Okay. You wanna keep it just centered in the joint. And just slowly move it. Here we go. Make sure you're getting stay on both sides of it. Look at that. Much better. What do you think, BP? I love it. Okay. Tell me that I'm crazy. I'm thinking that we'd ever be the same again. Tell me that you hate me. So finally, my Ranger is back up and running again. It's been months. It was broken down for months, so it's a huge relief to have it back. So Ronnie isn't in this week's video. However, I do want to thank him for making these repairs happen. But you did me a huge solid. So once again, thank you so much. Also want to give a huge shout out to Roy, Dean, Marcus, everyone at the ODR shop. I also want to thank Travis for uh, taking the time to uh, trailer my truck over to Roy's shop and uh, getting the repairs it needed. Once again, thank you to all who helped out. We are out here in a uh, unspecified location picking up this Camaro. We're gonna be doing some crazy stuff with it and we'll get into that a little bit later.